Ernest Hemingway was born on July 21, 1899, to a family of six children in Oak Park, Illinois. His father was Dr. Clarence Edmonds Hemingway, who was a member of the First Congressional Church. His mother, Grace Hall, sang in the church choir. Hemingway spent a great deal of time in northern Michigan, and it was there they began to show love for fishing, hunting, and an appreciation for the outdoors. Immediately after graduating, he went to go work for the Kansas City Star. There he began to gain experience for his future prose writing style. In 1918, he volunteered as an ambulance driver for the American Red Cross on the Italian front during World War I. He received the Italian Silver Medal of Bravery for his service, but soon after he was wounded and was sent to a hospital in Milan. In Milan, he fell in love with the nurse, Agnes von Karofsky, and she accepted his marriage proposal. But she soon broke off the engagement by leaving him for another man she fell in love with. Hemingway was heartbroken. While still recovering from his injuries and the brutality of war, he returned to the United States. It was in Chicago they met his first wife, Hadley Richardson. They soon married and moved to Paris. In Paris, he made Gertrude Stein and became part of the Lost Generation. Stein became his mentor, and he met many influential writers and artists from his generation, like F. Scott Fitzgerald, Ezra Pound, Pablo Picasso, and James Joyce. By 1923, Hemingway became a frequent visitor to the famous festival of San Fermin in Pamplona, Spain, which later provided the basis for his novel The Sun Also Rises. Hemingway's marriage with Hadley soon fell apart after she found out about his affair with Pauline Pfeiffer, who ended up becoming his second wife soon after the divorce. The couple decided to move to Key West, Florida, and this is where Hemingway spent most of his life writing his most famous works. In the 1930s, when Hemingway was not writing, he spent a lot of time traveling, like big game hunting in Africa, bullfighting in Spain, and deep sea fishing in Florida. When the United States entered World War II, Hemingway became a war correspondent. This is where he met Martha Gilhorn, his third wife. Hemingway and Gilhorn bought a house in Cuba, and this became their winter residence. Towards the end of World War II, he met his final wife, Mary Welsh, who he married soon after his divorce from Gilhorn. Hemingway continued to travel around the world, but he got into a few accidents while he was on his adventures. He survived many plane crashes and was very prone to disease and injuries. In 1951, he wrote The Old Man and the Sea, which earned him the Pulitzer Prize. In 1954, he won the Nobel Prize for Literature. Even though he was a man full of spirit, deep inside he was a man that was touched by many losses, and knew death all too well. While trying to recover from his many injuries in Cuba, he entered into a state of depression and alcoholism. He then moved to Idaho, where he stayed until his death. In the end, his depression took control and led him to taking his own life on July 2, 1961. Hemingway wrote the novel The Old Man and the Sea in 1951 and finally got him the very deserved Pulitzer Prize. The novel takes place in Cuba where an old fisherman named Santiago has had trouble catching fish. He has not caught a fish for 84 days. The old man fished with a young boy named Manolin until the boy's father made him go fish on a lucky boat. One day, the old man goes on a fishing adventure and the young boy sends him off. The old man ends up catching a marlin but finds it very difficult to get the fish on the boat. He decides to let the fish tire itself out and when it finally does, while the old man is bringing the marlin back home, Sharks continue to attack it. By the time the old man reaches shore, the marlin is just a carcass. Hemingway expresses in the novel the courage that is found in defeat and the personal victory that is found in losing. The Old Man and the Sea is the novel that secured Hemingway's foot in the literature world forever. As stated in the presentation speech for Hemingway's Nobel Prize Award, The Old Man and the Sea demonstrated the mystery of the art of narrative and the influence Hemingway has exerted on contemporary style. The novel The Sun Also Rises was deemed as Hemingway's big break into the literature world. It was his first big novel. Jack, the narrator of the story, takes the reader on a journey of a group of American and English expatriates in Paris. Jack speaks about the many nights out he and his group of friends had and the infatuation he had with Lady Brett Ashley. Lady Brett is very flamboyant and every man falls in love with her. Her and Jack have an affair while she's engaged to Mike, who is a war veteran but a drunk. Jack also has a great passion for bullfighting, and they all go on a trip to the annual bullfighting festival in Spain. There, the drama unfolds between all the characters. In the end, everyone goes their separate ways, and Brett returns to Mike. The Sun Also Rises was acclaimed as one of Hemingway's greatest works. This novel outlines the post-World War I generation, better known as the Lost Generation. The unknown love, 
lack of aspirations in society, and the effect of women on men, this is the lost generation. Hemingway was a man full of spirit, but after his father committed suicide, being in war, witnessing innocent men die around him, it eternally changed him. He was a strong advocate against war. As he once said, I know war as few other men now living know it, and nothing to me is more revolting. I have long advocated its complete abolition, as its very destructiveness on both friend and foe has rendered it useless as a method of settling international disputes. His writing style is characterized by economy and influenced 20th century fiction. Ernest Hemingway changed American literature.